And after two years, the sticker face has started to crack. We're gonna take our new one, which just fits right in place where the old one was just like that. This is the old one, this is the new one. I hate that noise. Do you have one of the original RV lock designs that came with this sticker cover over the keypad that would crack and fall apart after a couple of years? I'm gonna show you how I replaced the sticker keypad module with this all-in-one silicone piece that goes in from behind so that you won't have to replace this little sticker thingy every couple of years. When we bought this Grand Design Solitude fifth wheel about two years ago, one of the first things we did was install an RV lock. And we are so glad we did. We love the RV lock for enhancing the security of RV, RV and making it really easy to lock and unlock without any keys. One problem, this keypad right here is the old style that has basically a sticker over it. And after two years, the sticker face has started to crack. Now, the first fix that RV Lock offers is really, they just ship you out another one of these little stickers. You just peel the sticker off, stick the other one on, and you're good to go. Now, when I called them on the phone to talk to them about this, they actually offered me another solution, which is actually I could not find on their website. And that is instead of just replacing the sticker, you can replace the entire module from behind the lock itself, and this will permanently fix it so that you won't have to replace these stickers every couple of years. So I'm gonna do in this video, I'm gonna show you how I pull the lock off really quickly, pull out the silicone piece that's in there, put this new one in, and now we'll have a permanent fix for RV lock and no more replacing these keypad stickers. Okay, the first thing we need to do is take the lock itself off the door. So we start with just these four screws right here. You don't have to mess with these two screws over here, just the four that hold it onto the door. I use a drill driver like this, a really weak one, then I have the chuck set low so I won't strip out the screws from putting them back in. You could just use a regular screwdriver, but I like to use a drill driver to save time. Now we got those four screws off. This piece just pulls off like that. There's a cable in the back that needs to be disconnected. Just push this tab right here and pull. Whoops, pull like that. The next thing we have to do is remove these two screws right here. Whoops, don't drop them. Remove this little plate right here. From there, we're just gonna pull the lock out like this. Just pop the lock, just wiggle it, and it comes out like that. Now that we got the lock off the door, we're gonna remove these five screws right here. They're just small screws, and just take my drill driver again. I'm just gonna back out these five screws. Okay, now that we've got the five screws off, the next thing we need to do is pull off this little um, cover that covers the parts underneath. I use a little X-Acto blade in here, but you can use a screwdriver. Just get your fingers underneath that and then just pop that up very carefully, slowly like that. And that opens up the inside. Now these are the electronics that the actual keypad touches on. What we're gonna do first of all is we're gonna peel off the sticker from the one side Get that off of there. On the inside, there's a small silicone piece that's in there. So we're gonna take that silicone piece out. It was in this orientation like that. We're gonna pop that out. We're gonna take our new one, which just fits right in place where the old one was just like that. Now we're just gonna fit the cover back in place very carefully. Put the cover back in, get it nice and snug in there. And now we're just gonna replace those five screws that we took out earlier. I like to go back and finish off with a regular screwdriver just to make sure they are nice and snug. So this is the old one right here where it's basically two pieces. You got the silicone piece that goes underneath and the sticker piece that goes over top of it like that. The new version is all in one. It has the silicone and the numbers all built in one piece. This is the old one, this is the new one. Now that we have our new keypad installed in the lock, we just need to reinstall the lock into the door. First of all, we take the lock 
and put it in there, making sure that wire gets tucked in behind. We're gonna open up the door. Okay, the next thing we need to do is put the face plate back, back on, like that, and then install the two screws that hold it into place. Now I have my drill driver set really low and that is finish it off, hand tighten it to get the right tension. Mm, that's better. Now we're gonna put the inside part of the lock onto the door. First thing we connect that electrical connector that we had disconnected earlier, you hear a little beep. Next thing, when we go to place the lock on the back here, we need to make sure that this little tab right here fits into this hole, which means you have to hold this flat when you put it in. And then this red knob right here, it has a little flat side on the inside here. You need to make sure that that's lined up with the flat side on this post right here. So we need to make sure we get that lined up. Put that on there like that. Make sure that wire is tucked in there behind. Make sure this is flat so it fits in that little slot. And then we're just gonna test it. Make sure it's working. Both of those are working. Now we can install the four screws that we took out earlier. I have my drill driver set to a light torque and then I'll finish them off with a regular screwdriver. Now I finish them off with a regular screwdriver, get them nice and snug. Okay, good. We just check our lock here, make sure that's working well. Both locks are good. Now we have our lock back in place with the new keypad installed. Let's see how it looks. Nice and lights up like it used to before. Keypad feels really good. Now let's lock it. I hate that noise. So I'm gonna turn off the beeping. If you don't know how to turn off the beeping on your lock, you just push and hold the one button for three seconds. You get a beep. So now when you hit lock and unlock, um, it won't make that beep. So I'm gonna not show you my code. Now I got my lock unlocked again. Then when I go to lock it, no crazy annoying beep. But we got my new lock installed and hopefully a keypad that will last forever instead of one that will crack and fall apart after about two years. Well, thanks for checking out this video on how we replace the keypad on my RV lock. I do lots of RV DIY projects like this. If you're interested in that kind of stuff, please consider subscribing to our channel by clicking this link right down here. Now, I'm also gonna leave a link right over here for more RV DIY projects from Downsizing Makes Sense.